and welcome to the weekly update of and happy clue day uh, i know i didn't put out a clue day video for the university key so i'm just trying to make it up up here with this weekly update so the weekly update is for the 24th through the 28th and we're going to cover what's happened with the tezo mini hunt and uh, the things that have happened with the satoshi's treasure hunt so yeah i was sick this week and i had some work stuff that i had to do so i wasn't really able to uh get the university uh clue update and i apologize for that it just was a bit of a hectic week this week uh but some things have happened there's been some updates to the website uh there was a bit of a fun game of tag if you will with the developer and there has been a bit of game progress and we'll just kind of look what see you know look and see what's on um the hunt trail if you will we'll, we'll try that term this time around Okay, so if you look at the website, they've changed the orientation to where now the newly released keys are on top and all the old keys are at the bottom. So let's go through clue update. Uh, the Tesla Hunt has not been released. It is something they're still working on. Uh, the Earth key is again a key that no one has publicly disclosed that they've solved, but there's a possibility that it might have been by a private clan. But that's kind of iffy. Uh, let's see. Then we kind of go all the way up here. The checkerboard key. So the checkerboard key is another one that's kind of iffy. It might have been solved keys. Uh, none of the public clans out there or any individual has stated they solved this. But it's still available. In fact, all the clues released since July 27th are still available. And that includes the geolocation keys. So... There's still, a, you know, time if you have time or just came into the hunt uh, because of Tezos or uh, you went away because of summer or something like that. You can still go out to these geolocation caches and obtain, according to the site, the, the QR code. So, uh, the ladder key and what else? The United Key, no one's publicly disclosed that they found that. But every key has, in fact, pretty much been solved, except for the latest one, the University Key. So the Carpet Key, the News Key, and the Movie Night Key, uh, there's indications, though there's not been any public disclosures, those keys have, in fact, been found. Let's see here. Um, okay, so with, we'll start with the Tezo Hunt. So, let's see here. The Tezo Hunt, early on we had this tweet from an individual that was an investor with the um, Tezo Foundation and tweeted out this picture of one of the keys. And you need 14 of these fragments in order to unlock the Tezo prize. No one's declared that they found that yet. 13 of these keys have been released. This is one of the released keys and it's become active so you can actually scan it and when you do uh this is the fragment it's uh fragment 13 if you will uh the key fragment is one of 14 unlocked and you get uh 5000 in xtc dollars which i believe so that's a little bit of a change in the words because if i'm not mistaken Tezo Hunt. It says which has a price of 5,000 XTZ. So they change the wording there on the key. I don't know if that is intentional, a mistake, but it says it isn't $5,000 in XTZ instead of 5,000 XTZ. And it's not even actually XTZ, I believe. Yeah, it is XTC, but they are going to be using um, tokens for the main hunt. So that's that's a little discouraging there. But that 
it, right here that is disclosed. So if you have gone to the geolocations, you got those 10 keys, um, have this, and I believe it was um, not for the movie night. Where is it? Hmm. There was a catch a game dev. So let's go to this. Open a new tab. Move that over. So September 23rd, as I was doing putting together the weekly update, this was going on. And basically is you had to find Eric Melser on MIT campus. Um, he tweeted various parts of his location. And by finding him, you were able to obtain an SD key. Let's go to that. Uh, a Tezos key, an SD key, and one of the business cards. And there were hunters that were able to find that. So if you were able to get a clan member out and catch him, you have one of the pieces for the Tezo mini hunt. And it kind of went on from there. So we have that fragment. We have the Eric Messler, whomever, you know, whichever clans or individual hunters were able to find it, was able to gather that and get that. Also, uh, some of the clue keys for the GPS location. Um, let's see. I go back to this right here. Ah, oh, yes. The Dubai stickers. So there was issues, and we talked about it during the weekly update, that if, um, because the original um, the announcement uh, through the Blockstream site and even the Twitter account indicated that you, the HUD was available, it didn't direct anyone to the main Satoshi site where they could find the roles. Or even, um, really, I would say even to the Telegram channel. So because of that, people were pulling the QR stickers. And I explained where I personally would think if I knew nothing about the particular hunt itself, I would have just assumed from the announcement that if I was like the first hunter there or second hunter there and there's like 10 QR uh, stickers up, I would snag one of the QR codes. Oh, I must be kind of snatching these things. Just like you have um, like the flyer and the little flap and you pull it off or a business card or something like that and get the number for whatever type of service the flyer is offering. I would have assumed that. That would have been my personal conclusion. And that's what people had done. Uh, they were trying to sell it in the Telegram channel. So things got a little messy there. It's not the first time that's happened um, with some of the geolocation uh, keys. People have done that. Um, again, the, there's kind of built into the game that there will be a marketplace for some of these keys, but a lot of this is a little too soon, especially when considering people were, even though they were not doing so intentionally, pulling off the QR codes, and the game makers have made the effort to go back to these different locations and make and making sure that the QR code stickers are back up for hunters to be able to find. So, the movie night key, and this is again, a quality control insurance on the part of the game makers it does not seem to be a, a high priority. So put the five digit zip codes corresponding to the location shown within the scene, picture in order from least to greatest to unlock the key. And they had to put out a tweet, not this one. Uh, point of clarification, the movie night clue requires hunters to find the real world locations in which the scenes were shot, not the fish, fictional locations. Happy hunting. And, you know, rightfully so, except some of the scenes were shot in Canada, which does not have a zip code or a length of five digits for postal codes. So there's an issue, and this has to do with, um... I don't think it's the only movie this has an issue with, but the Goodwill Hunting movie, which is uh, part of the gift in here, uh, it was shot in Canada. It was not shot um, 
in Boston. It just wasn't. That's the case for a majority of these movies. They're not actually shown a good chunk of them are not actually shown at the film locations that they're taking place. Uh, maybe the exception of a few places like New York, but sometimes even New York, there's films that are not filmed in New York. Just simply because many of these locations are very expensive to film. Um, people don't have the budget to do so, so they film in cheaper locations and do exterior shots and do all the interior at somewhere else. Um, that's just been common movie things forever and a day. Um, but this key has in fact been solved and then a lot of it has to do with the clarification of the hint and there was two is that one and then due to some ambiguity and locations were publishing the following hints for the movie Night Clue uh, they gave the, the locations for Good Will Hunting, Forrest Gump and Stronger which is um, the hockey movie uh, if you see the image it's a hockey person that, that's the zip code location uh, again, quality insurance, there, there's multiple sites about film locations where you can put any movie in, um, pull it up, and it will tell you from IMDb to sites that are dedicated to little kind of diary entries of the different sh shooting locations while film is happening sometimes, um, the kind of like spoiler stuff, to after the fact where they do key scenes where something was filmed, and you could easily have found these zip codes. So for the fact that this was not done and the kind of very much the ambiguity uh, again syntax is an issue with text-based games this this should have been clarified by saying uh, put the five digits of codes corresponding to the fictional locations shown within the scene and that would have made it much easier people would have been uh, okay cambridge uh you know new york here new york there manhattan you know Columbia or something like that and it would have made a much easier go of it um, or they could have said put the, the five digits of codes corresponding to the locations that the films the scene of the film actually took place so that would have been a bit of more clarification um, the fact that they did not verify or check to make sure that some of these uh, movies didn't take place in you know, outside of the United States, where they use a totally, totally different zip code system. Again, these are these are just small, tiny, tiny bit of errors that pile up over time. That just makes it, the game a bit frustrating for a lot of people, including myself. Um, so, all right. So we're done with the movie night. Done with Tezos. And make this thing easier. Again, here is the Tezo key. The device stickers are up. Movie clue clarification. And then it was the university key. So the university key is a recent key that was released. Find your alliances. Um, they had made the, the public announcement that they had like this college campus thing going on. And from here, it looks like this is something that's going to be going on for a while. So, the social treasure is coming to college campuses globally this fall, and agents may be hiding clues on your campus very soon. The first mini prize is divided into 20 sub keys, and once you've found your keys, linked up with other schools to claim your prize. So, you will have to get the keys from the University of Pennsylvania, which took place on the 24th, uh, Carnegie Mellon University, the 25th, University of Michigan, September 26th. Uh, they changed it from the Michigan State University to the University of Pittsburgh uh, September 27th. Search around your campus and find the remaining fragments. Unlock a key and a Bitcoin wallet. Again, they're using the blockchain to blockchain.com. I'm just using their, the original site. I personally prefer different blockchain explorers. Um, the, again, it's uh, 0.05 in Bitcoin. Uh, this is the address, which is a legacy address, or the one address, not a SegWit address. Uh, let's see here. It came from a SegWit address to this address here. And it was created and published or done on September 21st. So there is that. Um, I have not seen anything about the DLive video um, when that's supposed to take place. Uh, there was supposed to be a Q&A that Eric Melser was supposed to do that hasn't happened yet. Um, but again, this clue has dropped. 
let's see, which was two days after the movie night key and the news key. Um, who knows? Since there's been some significantly huge gaps, like 11 here, 6 here, and then this year was like 14 almost, or yeah, 10. I mean, there there's some very massive drops between these different clues that have been going on. Um, but they're active. I you, you have the Bakshi, Michigan. They were up. Um, this is a done in conjunction with Lock Venture Coalition. They're the ones running the college campus issue. They uh, I don't want to say issue, but events. Uh, Pin blockchain. Uh, they put that was up. Uh, let's see. You have the, this this key here. And they have like a little college thing right there. You have this key here for the third day and fourth day. So, yeah. So, the, you know, the game's moving on with the Tezo mini hunt. Apparently, it's just one last uh, key to, to be revealed. I didn't see where the other two may have came from. I know 10 were geolocations. One was Eric Mansur, one was the messy one, so that's 12. I couldn't see where, the, I, I missed where the 13th one came out of. Um, and then there's supposed to be a 14th, and it's going to be a race to uh, whoever unlocks that, that Tezo's uh, address, if you will. Um, the university one is interesting. It's obviously going to be geolocations, getting hunters out there globally. Um, this is something I guess you can say clans or individual hunters that have in network have been able to successfully go out and go to these geolocations um the solve rate for some of these clues um has been a bit difficult for some people particularly like the latter the university not the university one but the latter the united key um and the earth key seem to be a bit difficult for some people and the other ones have been solved uh, clans are shifting uh, from their disclosures to where they're not as, as public as they've been before. And the, there's a lot of drama attached to that. I mean, you can go to the Telegram channel and, and read through some of that. But, um, I don't know, the, the, the game has its ebbs and flows. I, again, I wish they would just drop 10 at a time. Um, 20 at a time and just let people just kind of go at it for a while. Um, this again, this game is supposed to be taking place over a year. It's, it launched all the way back in April. It's, you know, April, May, June, July, August, September. We're in our sixth month, and we're not even remotely close to 400 keys, really, or even a thousand keys being released. This seems a little silly on the part of the game makers. And the fact that they're supposed to again disclose the public fun verification, and I just, I just have a deep dark feeling that the public splitting of the address is not going to be as high as we thought it was going to be. Um, and you know, Bitcoin has uh, prices plummeted. It went down to like I think one point seventy seven hundred. And like a weird flash crash of uh, these around 8,000 and who knows if it's going to go down a little bit more and then go back up but that's that's part of the Bitcoin game in itself but something that's supposed to pay out a million in USD PT, B, million dollar USD BTC value uh, does not have to be the high amount of Bitcoin that we initially thought started the game at the end whenever it's solved if Bitcoin is $10,000, $20,000, $100,000. dollars say it was $100,000. Everybody says it's going to go $100,000. Say at the end of the game, in a year's time after the happening, which seems like this game is going to be taking place during the happening. Um, that's 10, maybe possibly 10 or 12 Bitcoin period versus the potential of 190 from initially going out. Because it's still laying out their promise of giving out the equivalent of 1 million USD in value uh, in Bitcoin. So there's that. Versus the Tesla one where it seems like they 
they have there's a wall address and you can uh, look at it um, to some extent but I personally haven't been able to find it I, I'll look for it again uh, when uh, you know I was sick this week and work um, to find that the, the uh, Tezos address but <laughs> Yeah, it was just a slow one, and the movie night one, you know, was a little confusing about film location and fiction location. Uh, the news story was interesting, but um, I didn't recognize any of the voices, and I haven't gone through and got through the translator to see if I can get some something to someone to translate it to figure out um, the voices or the time periods that the that the um, events took place. So. <clears throat> That's it. That is your weekly update. If anything new, if there's a clue drop, I am feeling better, so I'll be able to do a clue drop. If there's a solve, whether it be the Tesla one, uh, mini hunt, um, I'll let, let people know. I don't think I'm going to really follow that hunt so much. I think I'm just going to kind of stick to this one. Um, this video, the pacing is just it's just the same as this one, and it's just I don't want to do double videos, if you will. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, good luck to the Tesla Mini Hunters out there. Uh, you got one more key to get to, and you are a winner of hopefully, you know, 5000 plus. I think Tesla was just trading above a little bit above a dollar. So, $5,000, and you know, you said the equivalent um, out there. Uh, good luck to the Soji's Treasure Hunters, um, getting these and racking up these keys and potentially getting uh, 0.5 in Bitcoin. Um, 